Hey Virgo, this is uh, House of Virgo. This is Kelly doing your next 24 hours love reading. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit the like and sh subscribe button. Um, you guys can also follow me on Instagram, House of Virgo. The links and everything you need, um, links to book a personal reading are below the video. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Let's take a look and see what is the past, present, future energy for love. Um, oh, okay. Past position, Three of Cups, The Empress, Page of Pentacles, Current, Ace of Swords, wow, The Chariot, Nine of Wands, and The Future. Virgo, you have the Four of Wands, The Fool, okay, and the Five of Pentacles. All right, let's take a look here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Past, mm, wow, I'm having a hard time talking here. Past energy, Three of Cups. Um, so the person that you, there might have been like an, an, an energy between the two of you of like dating, just celebrating, friendship. Uh, supporting one another, um, having um, camaraderie, finding camaraderie between the two of you or just in your life in general, Virgo, um, in the past being very jovial, um, connecting with your friends, sisters, family, siblings, um, celebratory energy, something very celebratory. Um, I feel like that might have just been your overall temperament or your feelings in general um but it's an energy of like being in harmony or in union with others uh feeling advancing in your life and your career and your love life things like that um and it could be somebody whom mm, maybe <clears throat> so it feels like hold on i'm just getting these like It feels like the person that you were connecting with was perhaps very flirty or flirtatious or talking to others, um, but you were always like number one to them, okay? Because you're showing up here as the empress and them, I feel like when they viewed you, um, they saw you as someone who was, you know, like just had everything. You're all about the love, very giving, nurturing nature about you. And perhaps this person was kind of like checking things out or dating others or something like that. And it just feels like you seem to hold some significance to them in a way that no one else really could like it feels like everybody else was just kind of like a fun time but you were more like maybe you were motherly or you are um maybe you are a mother or a grandma i say grandmother because i am a grandmother but maybe you were just like you held something very special you sat more in an honorable position than the other people that they were connecting with and the page of pentacles that kind of feels like um this person was very page, patient, but when they would communicate with you, it would be more about the physical things in, in life, like career, you know, worldly things, like physical things, right? Things, tangible things, career, money, um, all of the basics, like your car, maybe they offered you money or sent you gifts or things like that. Gifts, jewelry, all tangible things, you know. Um, I just feel like that was the communication that they had with you and that they usually have with most people. But let's get some type of clarification on this past thing, okay. So the Four of Cups on the Three of Cups. See, this person... I feel like if they were communicating with others while communicating with you, it had more to do with um, 
it was very light. This person never felt fulfilled with having a lot of options um, because that Four of Cups energy is kind of like just a feeling of like not feeling emotionally fulfilled, okay? Um, they saw their options out there, but they came to realize that they wanted stability in a relationship or a type of like a stable situation, that kind of thing. They just, you know, these cups kept coming. You see the three cups there, and then this person looking down at those three cups there. And here you were offering love to this person and they were kind of trying to figure out what do they do? What do they do? But you were presenting, they saw you as more like a gift that they may have felt like they didn't deserve. And they may have just tried to keep you as a friend, things like that. Like you were surprised to this person, Virgo. This person did not expect to um, fall in love or have feelings for you. And they tried to just keep it a bit casual. They might have been a little bit on the immature side, but just try to keep it like to the basics. Let's take a look at the Empress. Okay, yeah, I said like you were magical to this person, the magician. They saw you as someone who, I don't know, were performing some kind of magic tricks or something. Like you had the, you had some kind of ability that they, that what they saw is you had this thing about you were you were able to turn like your visions into reality. You were very inspiring. You were like very creatively focused. Um, these are things that they saw in you that you were much bigger and better and greater um, than what was really out there. It's just they were connecting with people who were just trying to have a good time and just which you know having a good time is is great, but. I feel like this person looked at you like you were larger than life and you came along and they really did not know what to do with you, Virgo. <laughs> there is even like, this is like all they could give you was like communication about the basic stuff. They didn't know. They didn't, it wasn't that they didn't know that you could fulfill them. They didn't know that they could fulfill you or give you. Just I'm just hearing you were out of their league. That's what I'm hearing. They feel that. They felt that way in the past. Let's take a look at the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the star, right? Oh, boy. <clears throat> they were hoping you would understand why they were, why they communicated with you the way they did. They, may, they saw you as like a star, someone, you know, like a shooting star, like, like, it's, I feel like, like a miracle. And I feel like they were trying, like, they didn't know what to do with it. You know, it's kind of like when you, when you meet someone who's just like, wows you so much, you're not used to it. You don't know what to say or what to think or what to do with this person okay Aquarian energy Gemini Libra thus far we have cancer so this person I just feel like they just couldn't believe that you even existed they didn't expect to meet someone like you Virgo it was just you have some kind of charm or some type you had, at least that's what they saw, like you, you put a spell on this person and they weren't expecting that. So the present energy, I see some communication coming through, present, some truth coming out, um, the surrounding, not just them, but this connection here. Um, a desire to overcome some issues or obstacles or problems. And with the chariot, that's like the center of the reading. Like some, this person 
uh, taking action and making some major changes. It's like they get clarity. They know what they want to do. They know what they need to do presently to be victorious or to win your heart or to, you know, to win you. But the nine of wands, is like they're standing here, like it, it feels more like waiting for the right time. It feels like um, they're. It's like they're looking at you, and they're they're still kind of blocked. There's hesitation, you know. It's interesting because we have the chariot, but then there's hesitation, and I feel like their 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 head, their thoughts, everything is like, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. To to be with Virgo to to take that big leap that leap of faith that big that big step here but presently it's like but my feet won't move my head's ready to go but my feet are just like i'm stuck at the bus stop <laughs> i don't know if i should i don't know if the bus will i don't know if the virgo bus will be there to pick me up i'm not sure there's a, there's an energy of not being sure but let's take a look at the ace of swords oh the three of cups is there again Okay, so this person, I feel what they're getting, the truth is, the truth comes to about themselves, mostly that they have this energy of like, other people that they were kind of dilly dallying around with a little bit here, or just having good times with, I feel like there's truth about that. It might be a conversation that they speak to you about that and tell you that you know they they have clarity about that and what they were doing or what was going on and that no one has ever fulfilled them the way that you were able to wow the emperor this person wants to take action and make a change this person wants to come forward in that emperor energy to match your energy this is a total level up with this person. And it's the emperor energies like being uh, in a leadership position, you know, someone who's like above board. I mean, the, the emperor, <laughs> the emperor is stable, structured, has foundation, is a planner, you know, um, the um, this person wants to match your energy. They want, I feel like that's what they know that they're coming to terms with that they know that in, in order to be with you they have to be on the same page as you there has to be alignment you know the the empress does not go with a king the emperor does not go with a queen okay you can reverse these energies but that is aries energy and this person i feel like <clears throat> maybe they have trophies there's a trophy there okay for identification here the the sphinxes the black and the white that's the yin yang energy here that's balance the this this sphinx here is standing which means he's in his yang energy and yang is extroversion yang is taking the lead um positivity yang energy is truth with the white innocence and purity and that's what's leading the way the dark is taking that backseat that yin energy that introversion this person wants to really just step up and take action and i feel like they want to try to they're coming to terms with that in order to come towards you they've got to be on your level to meet to connect to be in alignment with you let's take a look at the nine of wands here hmm. yep Look, Ace of Swords, again, when we have repeating cards, there's something about that, okay? It feels to me like, um, like again, it's the same thing. Their head knows what they want to do, but their feet are stuck. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that um, this person does want to be in a committed family, marriage type of a relationship. They do. <clears throat> because going forward, we would go from the nine reduced back to the four. 
Nine always represents completion, endings, accomplishment, transition. And this person is standing there with those nine of wands like, as soon as the bus comes, I'm going to stand here and wait. As soon as the opportunity, Virgo, I feel like this person might be waiting for you to, to, to you know, bring your bus around to the bus stop and pick them up in a way. I feel like this person is waiting for you to either like communicate with them or give them, you know, some information. The ace is the, the beginning initiation. This person's waiting. As soon as you initiate something with them, or you get the courage to speak to this person, or you take leadership in this connection, I feel like they're going to go for it with you because that brings us to the Four of Wands here. Again, with the Four. Structure, this is foundation. This is a stable, committed type of a relationship. And the Fool, definitely taking that leap of faith, like I said. Okay, you're a wish come true for this person. You were in the past and they just did not really know how to facilitate the emotional connection. So they, they tried other means. Okay, but here they are, you know. They, this person does not want to feel left out in the cold or be struggling anymore. And they're, I see them here walking away, going forward, walking away from that taking that leaf of faith into this union with you. And that's going forward into the future. Homecoming. Um, this could be travel here, coming to your home, you going to theirs or moving in together. Um, celebrations, family, friends, and, and this is reunion. And I feel like if you've been in separation with this person, I don't care if you live down the street from one another, whatever your situation is, I feel like there's movement to reconcile. Now let's take a look at the four of wands here with this person. There's definitely communication between you will be happening in the present. Okay, strength, beautiful, unconditional love, success, courage. And this is also about self love. I feel like this person, um, you give them the you give something to them or, or they they've this is what's making them want to come forward because they're of some type of present communication that you give them the strength and the courage. I don't know how you're doing it, but you do it. And then they come and they, they, they take that leap of faith and then they make something work here. Even when there may be others telling them, no, don't do it, or this is a bad idea, or, you know, or try to dissuade them from taking that jump or they'll tell them you could get hurt, or if this has been something that you have been involved with for some time, Virgo, there could be people them, telling them, um, you know, really? <laughs> like, are you, why aren't, they might be telling them to let it go. And I feel like this person is like, okay, how about I let you go? Because I'm going to Virgo. Because this is my person. We are a match, the Empress and the Emperor. Let's take a look at, okay, yeah, look. Seven of one, or cups. So this person's like, I've had commitment issues. I, you know, it feels to me like it's their commitment issues that have kept them free and alone and just kind of like living that bohemian lifestyle. The fool can represent um, childlike energy. So this person perhaps has maintained that childlike energy where they didn't really have to... The fool never commits to anything because the fool is just kind of like a baby, you know, baby, it just the cap incapacitated and, in, you know, an issue with being able to not really truly understanding the depths of that, you know, the fool just wants to just jump off the rocks, you know, the fool just wants to have those new beginnings and adventures. But I feel like this person has looked at all the options that were out there i also feel like and and that's why they're in the future going to take that leap of faith with you because it really isn't and everything else was just kind of like up in the air for them it was more like fantasy land kind of <laughs> kind of it was it was just 
I feel like this person is coming, like going for is coming to terms with the fact that they were just like looking for quick results. This is visions of grandeur. And that's not satisfying. It's just not satisfying for them. Because why? Because it's left them lonely. It's left them feeling... kind of like in this poverty mindset, isolated. It's left them feeling uncertain about who they are. Sure, they've had all this freedom and stuff, but it just feels like it was unsatisfying for them. Sure, they could go anywhere they wanted, do anything they wanted to do, or anyone they wanted to do, you know? Um, but always struggling and always leaning on people to help them um, walk with this busted leg. This guy's got like um, an amputated leg. You know, this person was became crippled in in their partnerships. They just could not function very well. It's it's had an effect on them physically. Their work has been affected by some type of separation of some sort. And this, they don't want to stay in that any longer because you are the house of spirituality. And in, in the sense where, well, you're showing up that way in this reading here. And this person feels like they've been on the outside and I, I feel like they want you to lead them to go inside of that church where it's warm and loving and caring and nourishing. Um, where hope returns, where there's like recovery from any kind of struggles that they've had. Let's get a clarifying card here for that. Yep, there's temperance, Sagittarian energy, bringing things back into balance, harmony self-control this person may have an issue with like self-control or moderation and finances and i don't know i feel like virgo <laughs> you may have kept them on the straight and narrow in a lot of ways maybe you kicked them out if you were involved with them or you found out something was going on i'm not seeing like cheating i don't think your person was cheating um i mean if you know that they were that's than what you know. I feel like if anything, there may have been emotional connections. Um, I don't see physical cheating here, just um, emotional connections with others, which to you still, it's still emotional cheating, okay? But I feel like this person wants to bring things back into balance and back into harmony. And it's just, temperance always feels like divine timing to me. This could be, um, I'm just, they just gave me the, um, they just said June 25th, and I don't know how that would resonate for you or what that might mean for you. June 25th, I heard. All right, let's get some angel wisdom tarot messages for you here, Virgo. Oh, the Empress is here again. Okay. Some of you might be on the cusp of Virgo Libra. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative proje projects will be very successful. There's abundance and prosperity here. And the Empress is that Venus energy. Okay. So there's creation. There could be pregnancy. There's, a, there's definitely abundance all around. Fertility, good parenting. You know, the Empress is very nurturing and, and she's like the queen of, uh, she's the queen of queens, you know. The Empress possesses all of the elements, water, earth, air, and fire. She's creative. She's very intelligent. She's physically appealing and she has good balanced emotions. Very supportive. Protect what you have created be prepared never give up ask your angels for help environmental activism and animal rights that could be something that you're involved with virgo um but the nine of wands again there's a protective energy and i feel like you know this person you feel very protective of them maybe even like 
nurturing like a mother but i don't know if you you nurture them like i mean if you're breastfeeding your person i mean hey to each their own but i just kind of feel like you have this very protective nurturing energy about you and this is something that this person sees like you're a defender of the realm like you don't you don't have a problem standing up at all okay you don't have a problem protecting um keeping and maintaining boundaries and being persistent with that if you have to i feel like you know who you are you're very prepared you don't give up and i don't see you wanting to give up on this person and i feel like that's something that they're, they're they know. that's why they want to bring themselves up to where you are they have much admiration for you and are tremendously inspired by you virgo Okay, seeds well planted, seven of earth. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future, Virgo. You need to be patient. A time for resting and planning for the future. Don't give in to unnecessary worry, okay? Plant your seeds going forward, Virgo, whatever that means. Your love seeds, your the seeds you have that you keep looking at that are on the kitchen table and you're like oh i just gotta plant them because i really want to get some fruit or vegetables <laughs> your intellectual seeds the way you speak you know planting uh seeds of information um, and your creative endeavors and plant them and then nourish them and and since it's a love reading, this is like the seeds of emotion. Plant those seeds of emotion. And what are those seeds? Those seeds are love, nurturing, support, empathy. Plant those things and then keep nourishing them, in nourishing the relationship, not necessarily nourishing your person, um, but more so nourishing this relationship. And just don't worry. Allow it to grow. Okay? But be patient with that because, you know, growth happens over time. Okay, Nine of Swords. You have some fear, Virgo, I know. And I guess that's why I needed to talk about the Seven of Earth. Okay, this is Nine of Air. You're expecting the worst. Thus, you're creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. What you speak into existence is what comes to you. So choose your words wisely. Don't allow worry to grow out of proportion to this situation. If you're having sleepless nights, find a way to sleep. Refocus your thoughts on positive things, Virgo. Oh, you have the eight of air. Okay. Yeah, this is a struggle here for you. The illusion of entrapment. A lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life right now, okay? That nine and that eight do have an effect on your psyche. This is about your self-worth, your self-esteem. Are you going to be hurt if you continue nourishing this relationship? Will it pay off? All of your worries. Will things work out? Okay, this is like you are self imposing these restrictions and you're isolating yourself and you are imprisoning yourself by the negativity that you find creeps up sometimes. And in turn, the result from that is anxiety, some grief, nightmares, or even depression. You got to just stop listening to those old tapes that are telling you that you cannot be successful in love and the things that you want, right? I'm going to get one more and then we're going to end the reading here. Okay, and there's your Knight of Air. Be decisive, focus driven, and defensive. Defender of the realm. Events that move with great speed choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes are coming. Virgo, there's a life change that's happening here. And I feel like this is a person, they're coming in hard, fast, and strong. Um, there's going to be some strong communication from this person about making this lifestyle change with you. And they will be direct and assertive in regards to that. Uh, they just told me to pull one more. Yep, and there's the Queen of Swords. So we have air energy here. Virgo, this is both of you here, okay? Brilliant. You're both very experienced, 
funny, great to talk to. You were quite judgmental at times, not in a critical way, but in a cutting way where you can see that you, you know because of your clarity how to release situations or people that don't serve you for the greater good. And I feel like that's an energy for both of you coming into this like, it's not that I am so egotistical that everyone must serve me. It's just I need to cut away situations or certain people that are not supporting my health and my growth in life, okay? You, have, you both have the ability to see the humor in difficult situations. You both are very focused on career. You both could be divorced or unmarried, either or, okay? Um, and that just feels mostly like, I feel like you're both holding the sword out for transformation for each other. You're both staying in your truth or, and will be in your communication about wanting to transform the relationship. And we're ending it with the emperor. There you go. Virgo, logic and organization will increase success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role, structure, and discipline. Now we have the empress twice, and we have the emperor twice. Okay? I, that's your message. Whomever this reading is about, whomever you're thinking about, Virgo, or even if you're trying not to think about someone in particular and you keep coming back to them, there's a message here for you about this person. You guys are both in alignment. You are, it's a meant to be type of connection here. Okay, this is, this is two people. Balance, duality, partnership, reflection. There's diversity somewhere in this connection. Okay, but it's a very beautiful energy and I'm gonna close it out with that, okay? I hope that you enjoyed that. I truly do. I do believe, let's see, I don't know if I'll have a reading for the 31st. I'll try, but if it's not here, we have a holiday here and um, it's the weekend, so I have some stuff going on. But yeah, if you don't see it, please forgive me. Um, I'll be back as soon as I can. I wish you all the best, Virgo. Love you. I'll see you guys very soon. Oh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Take care.